Right, I thought I'd do a little bit of an update on the VR5. So I'm getting close now to being confident to start welding this up. So what I've started to do is just to trim the gearbox to get it ready. It still needs a good clean and degrease. But in terms of just kind of um, uh, V-grooving the edges and getting it so I know where it's going to be lined up and stuff, I think we're, we're kind of there. I've also started to trim some of the fins off um, the front part of the Passat gearbox just to give me space to be able to kind of get in there and weld kind of along the edge um, without taking too much strength away from it and then obviously I've got all these holes to kind of fill um, so what I've done is I've made this little plate and a couple of little bits just to kind of go in um, so what I'll do is I'll weld this over the top and drill from the from the back side back through to give me a decent um, uh, place to bolt from here so that one will go on there and then this one just will sit like so again I've started to groove it out just so, just so I've got some space to get in and weld and so basically I'll weld all the way along there and then all the way in there and that will seal and weld up that side and then the rest of it you just got to go and weld all the way around um, some bits are going to be a, a bit tricky to get into so I might have to do multiple passes to uh, to get in there but it's looking okay I'm kind of happy with the position it sits in um, I've built this little jig here as well um, which basically bolts to the engine mounts and then bolts to this part of the gearbox just to literally hold it down um, so it can't rotate and move so obviously once I start welding it I'm going to put a, a fair bit of heat into it so I don't want it distorting in and moving about so that will keep it nice and still so yeah what I'm going to do now is take it off here give it a good clean and then uh, take it from there right so everything's got a clean um, what I did initially was to soak everything in some degreaser in a bowl a very large bowl um, and then kind of wire, wire brush it try and get all surface crap off um, and then I used a stainless steel wire wheel on a uh, angle grinder to clean the inside and outside so it's looking clean still got to give it an acetone rub but it's kind of good to go so um, I'm kind of almost there um, in terms of getting ready to weld this thing up um, what I need to do is figure out how I'm going to weld it in terms of its position obviously I want to be comfortable in my chair so um, yeah, I've got to figure out a way of getting this kind of up a little bit and level and obviously make it sturdy so I can weld it. Um, but yeah, that's a problem for, for tomorrow. But I'll probably maybe spend another day welding up some um, scrap bits of cast aluminium just to do a bit more practice before I um, crack on with the main weld. Right, here we have it, one welded bell housing. As you can see it turned out okay, for the first attempt anyway. There is a little bit of um, contamination in some of the welds, but I'll simply just grind, grind that out and then, and then make another pass. But overall, so far so good. So what I'm going to do now is just take the gearbox off and put it on the work table and crack on welding. Okay, so that's done now. So 
So I've bothered all the way around the outside and I've bothered all the way around the inside. Again, it's not going to win any beauty contests, but I think it's a uh, it's relatively strong. I guess the proof of pudding will be in the eating or the breaking. But fingers crossed it won't snap because I think that's going to be quite ugly if it does. But again, it's kind of a means to an end and it's a temporary measure until I get the adapter plate and stuff made properly. But I think this will get me going. So I'm just going to put it back on the engine, make sure it hasn't warped at all. And then we'll see. Just bought it down the gearbox and it's bought it down flat so it hasn't warped at all during welding. So yeah, progress made. Considering the fact that this is the first thing I'm welded, TIG welded anyway, it's uh, I think it's turned out okay. We'll have to wait and see to see how it performs when it's in the car and strapped up to an engine producing a reasonable amount of torque, but again, we'll see. But for today, I think a massive step forward. Um, I would seem a little bit more excited, but I'm freezing in here. I think it's like minus three. So I'm gonna get going. But um, as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you for the next update. Cheers, bye.